This is an introduction to simultaneous equations video. We use simultaneous equations in everyday life in contexts of jobs, of finding the best job that offers value for money or comparing offers and finding the best offer. I'm going to use the context of going to a grocery store where you can buy fruits and vegetables and not knowing the price for each item. We're only given that two apples and a pear cost 28 pence or cent, whatever you might be using. And one apple and a pear costs 18 pence or cents. So we want to figure out what is the cost of one apple, the cost of one pear. Now just looking at this, you probably have worked it out already in your head. You've probably worked out that the cost of one apple is actually 10 pence. But why? What mathematical operation have I done there? I've subtracted. So if I subtract this second row from the first one, what I'm left with is just one apple being equal to 10. So two apples take away one apple leaves me with one apple. A pair take away a pair leaves me with no pairs. So that means that the price of one apple is 10 pence. I'm going to write it on the side with letters. So apple and apple makes two apples. And then we add into that a pair. And that equals 28. Now one apple, which we can write as just A, plus one pair equals 18. So again, two way, take away one A, leaves me with one A. And B, take away B, leaves me with zero, which I don't need to write at all. So 28, take away 18, leaves me with 10. So I've worked out the price of the apple, but in order for me to solve the simultaneous equation, I need to find the price of the pair as well. So if I plug this in here, that's going to be 10 add a number equals 18. So what is that number? That is 8, because 18 take away 10 gives me 8. So the price of the pair is 8 pence. So once we have A, we can just plug it into any of the linear equations, either the first or the second one. I've just done it with the second one. I'm going to try now with the first one to show you that it's exactly the same thing. So A is equal to 10. 2 times 10 is 20. And add the pair. That gives us 28. So we haven't changed anything. We've just substituted the value for A into the first equation. Now this is saying 20 add a number equals 28. And if we take away 20 from both sides, we're just left with B equals 8. Now I've got the values for both A and P, both of the unknowns. To check, it's good practice to go and substitute this into both of the equations and find out if the equation is true. So, 2 times 10 is 20, add 8 gives us 28. 10 add 8 equals 18, so it works. 